Warner Robbins police identified the person killed after he was hit by two cars Tuesday night. Police spokeswoman Jennifer Parsons said 51 year old Jesse Ramirez was jaywalking at the intersection of Watson Boulevard and Nottishaw Drive just before 10 p.m. Tuesday. Parsons said someone driving a Dodge Charger hit him. Then he was hit again by another person driving a Chevy Impala. Police are still investigating and haven't charged anyone at this time. And according to Warner Robins Police Department, Ramirez is one of 10 pedestrians struck by vehicles near that intersection within the last three years. So, do people traveling on foot on Watson Boulevard have a safe place to cross the street? Ansley Nichols set out to verify whether there are adequate crosswalks on Watson Boulevard. Her source, Sergeant Randy Evans with the Warner Robins Police Department Traffic Division. Here's what Ensley found out. Every day, cars zoom up and down Watson Boulevard. That's where Tyler Booth and Tristan McDowell travel regularly by foot. Cars like to speed down the road, even if it's red light or stop sign or whatever, crosswalk. Within the last three years, Warner Robins Police Department says 10 car accidents involving pedestrians happen near or at the intersection of Watson Boulevard and Nottishaw Drive. They say most of those involve people jaywalking. We set out to verify, are there adequate crosswalks for pedestrians on Watson Boulevard? So there may not be a crosswalk on Auto Show Drive, but if you walk just a couple hundred feet up on Watson Boulevard here on Carter Circle, there is a safe place to cross the street. Sergeant Randy Evans with Warner Robins Police Department Traffic Division says people choose to jaywalk instead. They're not utilizing the crosswalks or uh, using the sidewalk. He says these accidents usually occur near crosswalks. With high call volumes and officers working other traffic investigations, Evan says it's difficult to prevent jaywalking 24-7. We do what we can, but it's just it's hard to combat because everybody has it in this mindset. Um, I'm grown, I'll do what I want to, and I'll cross and do, you know, just as I please. When officers patrol for violators, Evans says the jaywalking stops temporarily. Everybody straightens up, and then once they see, you know, that we're no longer there, they tend to go back to doing their own thing. Booth admits he jaywalks because it's the easier option. I cross there all the time trying to get something to drink, and oh, the cars are moving so fast, and I have, it gets tiring having to walk all the way up the street. Evan says when walking near roads, especially at night, wear light colored clothes that make you visible. In Warner Robins and Zinnacles, 13 WNAZ News. Now, jaywalking is against Georgia code. Offenders can face up to a $250 fine. If you have any questions you'd like us to verify, send us an email or message us on our 13 WMAZ Facebook page.